In the last video, I asked you to go ahead and duplicate the cylinders so that you had a total of six to build the cushion. What I'd actually like you to do is delete those five. It's much more efficient to build the cushion by first putting your cylinder down flat on the work plane, positioning it, and then duplicating it. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of those cylinders that we don't need. And what I've done here to help you build the cushion is I duplicated my chair and then removed the sides from it just so that I could leave the profile so that you could place your cylinders in a shape that mimics what you're seeing right here. So now we're going to take this cylinder and we want to go ahead and lay it onto the work plane. Okay, I'm going to put 90 degrees in here. And then I'm going to hit the D key to put it on the work plane. And then I'm going to go ahead and kind of get this into position. All right. And we'll get this a little bit closer. All right, you can see that I'm going to have to tilt this a little bit. So I'm going to click here and I'm going to tilt so it, it kind of matches that contour. All right, now I have the benefit of having this extra model on my work plane and you don't have that. So you're, you're at a little bit of a disadvantage. My suggestion is, is look at my model and the best way to copy this is go ahead and get a piece of tracing paper and go ahead and trace these cylinders, then place your cylinders into position so that it kind of matches this and then hold that tracing paper or typing paper up to your computer monitor and see if you have that shape. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and try to make this. Once I get this into position like this, I'm going to go ahead and pull this up. And you can see I still need to do a little bit of a tilt more to match that. Let's see if we're out in front. Probably should go out in front a little bit more. All right, I'm going to adjust it again. Now I'll go ahead and duplicate it. Control D. And I'm just going to work that with my right arrow. I'll go ahead and drop this down a little bit. And you can see I'm going to have to tilt that. Drop this down a little bit. duplicate. Go ahead and tilt and pull this up a little bit. See how that looks. And there's a certain amount of overlap to the cushions. This one looks to me like it needs to go over a little bit more. This one should move over a little bit more. Looks like it should move some more. And right now I have the snap on my grid. It's just set to one unit cube. You may find it helpful to maybe set it to a 0.25 to give you more control. All right, I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this one. And okay, we'll go ahead and give this one a twist. That one will need to be pulled up. Let's see how we're looking so far. It looks pretty good. looks like a pretty good match. Go ahead and duplicate that again. Pull that up a little bit more. Tilt it a little bit more. how that looks. That's not bad. All right, I'll do some more fine tuning. Duplicate. Let's see how that looks. That one will have to definitely come up a little bit more. I'm going to go back a little bit.
All right, I'm going to play with this a little bit more, but you should, when you get done, you should have an even overlap between your cushions. On this one, I've got quite a bit of overlap, but not enough up here, so I'm going to be adjusting these a little bit more. So maybe I'm going to pull this one back a little bit more, maybe pull it up a little bit, and I'm going to go ahead and keep playing with this until I get a contour that looks much like my original one. So if I were to look at my green cushions over here, what you should end up with when you end up grouping all of your cushions, you should have a length of about 51.57. Your width will be 35.5. And then your height should be about 37.73. So go ahead and keep working with these little cylinders until you can get a profile that matches the original one that I have here. So let me go ahead and move these orange ones out of the way. And again, if you want to go ahead and try to match this profile, you can do that. Let me go ahead and bring this closer. Send it back just a little bit. But this will give you a pretty good contour to look at. So go ahead and play with that, and then we'll come in uh, to our next video, and we'll continue where we left off. We'll group these, and then we'll go ahead and start working on these rails.